Let us open our Bibles once again in the last book of the New Testament and also the whole Holy Scriptures. In the book of Revelation, we will read in chapter 17, beginning in verse 10 and ends in verse 11. I would like to read from the New King James Version Bible. The Scripture says, There are also seven kings. Five have fallen, one is, and the other has not yet come. And when he comes, he must continue a short time. Verse 11, The beast that was, and is not, is himself also the eighth, and is of the seven, and is going to perdition. There had been misunderstanding about this particular prophetic verses in our time today. Some had conjectured that this is referring to the resignation, which is second in the history of the papacy, of Pope Benedict XVI just a few days ago. And also, there have been many people who are uh, sharing this uh, um, interpretation in the social media. But what is the um, immediate application of these verses? I would like to read a scholarship apparatus here from the Andrew Study Bible. In verse 10, referring to who is the one, the seven heads are consecutive. Since John is the point of reference, the one is would be the Rome of John's day. The five fallen kings would then be Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, Middle Persia, and Greece, which is our standard interpretation. The eighth is the eighth head, which is the beast of the final crisis. The summation and the climax of the prior seven, it functions as an oppressive power. Now, I don't know where some people get the idea that Pope Benedict XVI is the uh, uh, seventh or eighth uh, head, but I understand that the, the prophecy is indeed sure that whoever takes the place of the papal system, the hierarchy, is in our view, or in my view, is the, uh, is the power that is different from the other powers which was also alluded to by uh, Prophet Daniel. And so, my dear beloved friends, I would like us to continue to discuss and um, open our hearts and our minds and be watchful and prayerful because indeed we are living in the, in the final days. Regardless, it is the resignation of the present Pope and the new Pope that will be elected will be the final Pope, it does not really matter. What matters right now is we are in a sure prophetic word that we are living in the final days. May God continue to bless you as so search the scriptures today. This is my prayer.